food is the most important. Restaurants are mostly trash. People saying just use your toothbrush are absolutely lost. Oops, I gave away the game again. Let's do looks maxing on point fresh. All right, give the people what they want. The idea of maxing out your looks in every way possible. It's like making a character in a video game and trying to use as many points as you can in upping the looks bar stat. But real life is different in that some people will start with most of the bar already filled up. These are the genetically gifted and others will only have a little bit filled up and will need to grind out and farm more points to get to that same level. Level one. Think of step one as level one, mostly because I'm a nerd and it's easier to explain things in video game analogies. You're not going to get past this level unless you meet the required criteria. This is building a strong foundation. So let's begin. Number one, start a skincare routine. Get a cleanser, moisturizer, and sunscreen. Keep it simple. The brands we recommend are all dermatologist recommended and fits all price budgets. These are CeraVe, Cetaphil, La Roche-Posay, and The Ordinary. Number two, clean up your diet eat whole foods your daily diet should include yeah that should be number one on this list clean up your diet that's part of level one okay include fruits see. vegetables lean meats and complex carbohydrates if you don't have time to cook or hate cooking get a slow cooker it's the best investment you'll make for your health if you hate cooking and don't want to cook get over your self you need to learn to cook there's no other way around it learn to meal prep if you hate cooking all the time Make sure you only cook once a week, once every three days, whatever, how often you want. Diet, food is the most important. The rest comes after. Number three, get plenty of sleep. Limit your blue light exposure an hour before bed. Get seven to eight hours of sleep at night. Not all eight hours are the same. Sleeping at 4 a.m. and waking up mid-afternoon might technically be eight hours, but it's not nearly as refreshing. Sleep at an appropriate time. Number four, start a workout routine. I recommend going to the gym three to five days a week and doing either an upper lower or a push pull leg split. Check out our video on how to build an aesthetic physique. Number five, do cardio. Don't listen to people that say cardio is useless. It has incredible effects for circulation, which makes you look- Bro, he really, did he just do Athlean X that dirty? Do cardio. Don't listen to people that- This guy is a G in the space of nutrition and uh, physical exercise. What in the world? Let's say cardio. Okay, it says when cardio is killing your gains. So there's a specific time to do it and not. Cardio is useless. It has incredible effects for circulation, which makes you look a lot better and keeps you lean. You don't need to go crazy. 30 minutes on the treadmill at a 12 incline and three miles per hour is an amazing cardio workout. Do this a couple of times a week. Number six, keep hydrated. Buy a giant water bottle and keep track of your water intake until it becomes second nature to always stay hydrated. Number seven, keep your teeth clean. Floss every single day. I recommend getting a water flosser. They're super useful. Buy a high quality electric toothbrush. Use a tongue scraper to always keep your breath fresh. And I have that tongue scraper they're using. It sucks, by the way. I switched over to a metal one. Look up metal tongue scraper. It's just shaped in like a U. And it works, it's far superior to these ones. Use a tongue scraper to always keep your breath fresh and use whitening strips to keep your teeth white. The next two are optional. Six, start taking a vitamin D supplement. Almost all of us are deficient, especially if you have darker skin. Get the ones with the dropper that goes under your tongue. It absorbs better. Seven, start taking a collagen supplement. Overall, it just has a ton of benefits from skin to hair to muscle and joint recovery. If you have all of these completed, People saying just use your toothbrush are absolutely lost. Do not use your toothbrush. It does not. I mean, it's better than using nothing, but a metal tongue scraper is far superior. They look just like this. This is what you want to use. Get, well, get this cheap one from Amazon. That's it. It works better than anything you can possibly use. It lets you get deep down to the back of your tongue, unlike the toothbrush. It or at the very least have started doing them, you can start thinking about moving to level two. Otherwise, don't put the cart before the horse. Build a strong foundation first. Level two. And floss, don't just brush. Floss often also. Flossing is actually super important. What is it? A majority of cavities happen in between the teeth? Welcome to level two. Hopefully you have a good foundation to really kickstart your looks maxing journey. In this step, 
We're not going to add anything crazy, but we do want to improve what you already have. The easiest way to do this is to start from top to bottom. The top, of course, being your hair. Do you have nice hair? Is it fluffy, smooth, and conditioned? If not, it's time to hair max. Number one, start a hair routine. Grab a non-stripping gentle shampoo and learn to shampoo properly. Most guys have no idea how to do this. Next, grab a nourishing conditioner and learn how to use that too. The conditioner should only go on the middle and ends of your hair, never the scalp. An extra tip is to add a bit of rosemary oil to your shampoo. Yeah, no, rosemary oil. Be careful with all these kinds of fragrances. If you buy shit with, say, lavender or rosemary or whatever, any of that stuff could disrupt your hormones as well. They actually do affect your body in a systemic way. Be careful. <laughs> that rosemary isn't going to do shit to your hair like this. So if you guys are losing hair, you probably will get a bigger difference from cleaning up your diet. Just saying, don't fall for this shit. As far as a conditioner goes in a shampoo, typically you only shampoo a few times a week at most if you're getting dirty but conditioner yeah use it a lot i use the what is apple cider guys this stuff's the cleanest without messing up your hair it cleans everything naturally people have been using apple cider rinse i try to go the natural route if you look on the back of your um bottles and you read all the ingredients it'll blow you away there's so much shit you can't pronounce i found like this is the cleanest it does smell of apple cider a little bit but i don't want to put anything on my scalp that's just um full of chemicals like that. So really back to the basics. These will help you get good, shiny, sleek hair, get all the gunk out, and on top of it, keeps your scalp healthy. Because there are other people that uh, don't do well with some of these like five-in-one shampoos that absolutely destroy and strip your hair and scalp of oil. This is what I use personally though and ends of your hair, never the scalp. An extra tip is to add a bit of rosemary oil to your shampoo, which can help with thickening your hair, keeping it healthy and nourishing your scalp. Number two is keeping your scalp healthy. Keep your scalp healthy and clean by exfoliating it with a scalp brush. If you have dandruff, use a shampoo like Nezeroil and remember to know the difference between a dry scalp and dandruff. It is not the same thing and they both require different treatments. Number three, if you're balding, either shave or get on treatment minoxidil someone says i barely go to a fast food place how about restaurants no different restaurants are cooking your meat and seed oils their shit is stored in the freezer or it's already prepped and waiting for the next two to three days to get used restaurants are mostly trash dash is being dead honest and they're probably using low quality ingredients unless you're eating at a five star place if you're eating at a five star place three times a day sure bro you're probably getting the best of everything but finast dried and micro needling are the current remedies for hair loss that really are scientifically back to work number four find a nice haircut this requires some experimenting ask your barber what kind of hairstyle would work for you for hairstyling products use either a lightweight pomade to style your hair or use a sea salt spray if you want to get a beachy messy look so now hopefully you've gotten your hair fixed up nicely or as best as you can you have a consistent hair routine and you found a nice hairstyle that matches your face let's move on to facial hair and eyebrows fix your eyebrows for most men this just means cleaning around your eyebrows and in the middle but keeping it a nice natural and masculine shape never go too thin eyebrows though are pretty individual some guys look good with unruly eyebrows and others look terrible if you have patchy facial hair the only cure really is to get a derma roller and minoxidil to beard max otherwise clean shave at all times beard max bro if your beard grows like this just shave it off to right here just do handlebars on the front it's game over don't this looks awful Next, check out our video on facial hair aesthetics to find an appropriate facial hairstyle for you. Level 3. This next level is facial aesthetics maxing. Let's get right to it. Just as a note, I provided every single product I personally use for looks maxing below. Number 1. Improve your complexion with a natural tan from the inside. This means eating plenty of veggies with beta carotene in it or taking a supplement. This gives you a nice... Completely unnecessary. Do not do this portion of what he's saying at all. Don't do most of the shit he's saying on here, honestly. Attractive glow. Number two is mewing. This is a long term. Are you f***ing shitting me? Practice that could possibly improve your jawline. Number three, clear lips. Always keep your lips clear. Use Aquaphor or Vaseline before you go to bed and wash away the dead skin from your lips in the morning. Number four is use an under eye mask. This Bro, f you better not be using an under eye mask. What is going on? 
This will keep your under eyes looking tighter, less puffy, and more energized. They are super cheap and pretty relaxing to use. Number 5. Gua Sha A Gua Sha is a tool used for facial massage which can help to reduce the appearance of wrinkles and fine lines. It will Just say you want to be a b then, why don't you? Who the f What man wakes up and goes through all this bullshit? Bro, <laughs> this guy is sweet. <laughs> Wake the f up, go on a run, go to the gym, eat and clean food you cooked at home and all of this shit will clear up. God. Works by manually there. stimulating. I just fed you the game. Oh my God. Sorry. Oh, I gave it all away. Oh my God. Now you don't got to buy all this bullshit and do all this. Oops. I fed up everybody's money. In your skin in order to help your skin produce more collagen. It helps reduce the appearance of puffiness and inflammation, which is amazing if you have puffy under eyes. It also Sus. helps. Muff sus right here it's the circulation <laughs> in your face which reduces dark circles overall an amazing tool to add to your routine and also pretty relaxing to use by this point you should have a great base to work with by this point you're probably getting pegged bro this is crazy this is the advice men are giving each other your physique is on point or in the process of getting there your hair is looking good and your face is nice clean and clear now it's time to fashion max this means finding a style that is unique and suits you and makes you stand out find us you know there's one style that works boys it's called suits it's called button-up shirts with matching pants wow is that really hard don't wear jeans you can't go wrong with that some brown shoes with a brown belt holy f oops i gave away the game again sorry style you like we have a ton of videos on different styles whether it's something minimal or old money or more edgy find what you like and start moving in that direction with your wardrobe. don't don't dress like this dude just don't unless you like attracting emotionally damaged women just don't dress like this dude this immediately gets you women that um haven't used their brain cells whatsoever if you want to get actual women where is it this is a aesthetic too you look like you just you're Bum, you just, you just woke up and stepped out of the house, bro. Not a single look of a man in a suit. Something minimal or old money or more edgy. Find what you like and start moving in that direction with your wardrobe. If you've gotten past all these levels, you've done a ton to maximize your looks. And more importantly, you've done it working with what you already have. If you want a full checklist to our looks maxing guide, I've linked our article below. One last thing I want to mention is something that is never ever mentioned in most looks maxing or how to look better videos and that's the role that chronic stress plays in our day-to-day -day lives and the effects it has on our appearance you can do every look maxing technique out there and you can still falter and glow down if you have a lot of chronic glow down who sent me this you're fired stress in your life that's because chronic stress directly affects our hormones it literally causes us to both physically and mentally change. Physically, it'll say you're going through mentioned here. If you're something wrong with this. That wasn't even an ad read. That Someone said that was an ad read. I thought he was about to recommend a product. That wasn't even a product recommendation. Job or life situation. That's results. The only thing you can do is hard max. Oh my God. Please. That was 658,000 views. This is where we're at. Huh, of course, I've been highly interested in improving my life without all the red pill type BS. You mean the truth. Stop whining like a bitch. Go to the gym. Cook for yourself. Eat clean. Teach yourself valuable skills. I don't want people to tell me to do that. I want to wipe my face with a f weird contraption that feels good on my eyeballs. Look at me, guys. I'm looks maxing. What the f***? This is the wackiest video I think I've ever seen. This is easily the most concise step-by-step -step guide. Thank you. <sighs> Arcanum, uh, the watchers are under assumption that this would attract women in the West. <laughs> this uh, is what lowers their esteem. Yeah, I got yeah, I got a message those what the whatever crew and go on there and just torch everybody. Jesus Christ. Yo, great video again. Another banger. I've been doing all the things you've listed except gua sha and let me tell you, you really know your shit. I can say from personal experience since I started look maxing in October, I've seen almost immediate results with myself and from the women around me. I will say one thing you forgot to mention that plays another huge role is posture. Showing how you carry yourself easily plays a part in how others view you. If I wish I could make that picture bigger for you guys, but he looks exactly like how you would expect. Fuck, dude, masculinity is in the dumpster.